And ladies and gentlemen, there is a look at your reigning champions. They have not lost a tournament this year. Yet, the Twitter poll is saying that Icon's Impact, only six people think they're going to win it. Let's <laughs> change those stats, guys. Get on Twitter, hashtag Icon's Impact or hashtag Epsilon. Who do you think is going to take this game? Who do you want to win? Well, it's Europe's finest going up against America's finest. The best team in Call of Duty, without a shadow of a doubt, Icon's going up against Epsilon. There's a lot of noise in Europe. This is Europe's representative now. Obviously, Prof just there, going down into the loser's bracket. A lot of hopes riding on Epsilon's shoulders. But, you know, Impact, like we said, best team on the game. This is going to be such a good game. And these guys have a little bit of history, Benson. Of course, Impact, they're your Dallas champions. Of they're course. your Call of Duty championship winners, taking home $400,000 there. They won EGL 9 as well. And they at did. that EGL tournament, they met up against this Epsilon squad without Jerd. Yeah, without Jerd. Um, it was a slightly different different team. Obviously, they had Josh there. But, you know, Jerd is, is King Jerd. He does what he wants. And it's that Jerd factor. He's so, so strong. Although recently, you know, I was speaking to the coach, Scruffy, and, and he was saying, you know, watch out for Madcat. He's been the player that has been making some phenomenal plays throughout the open bracket. Had a chance to actually stand behind them when they were playing yesterday. Making some serious plays. Although the last game of the day got a little bit shaky. Went all the way to that last map. But they still managed to persevere, come through and now they find themselves sitting in the championship bracket. So, Epsilon, they took yeah. them to game five once. Yeah. That was without Jerd. What does Jerd bring to this <laughs> team? Oh, he brings a lot. He really does. He's renowned right now in the European community for being one of the best players, if not the best player in Europe right now. So, it, it's essentially, like we said, the best team in America going up against the best team in Europe, and the best player in America going up against the best player in Europe. So, this is just an absolute thrilling game. It's going to be amazing no, no matter what. I called Icon's Impact to win this really? tournament. Only 715 <laughs> people think they're going to take it. Double that for Epsilon right now. The UK is watching. We got fans from around the world all cheering for this Epsilon squad. They're the fan favorites coming into this event, and they're heroes. After grinding through that open bracket last night, they had to go through five rounds. They struggled a little bit, but they're here in the champ bracket. And if you can upset Icon's impact in round number one, man, Epsilon will have all the momentum needed to get to a winner's bracket final. It was just 2,000 tweets in under a minute there on that voting poll. That's impressive. That the community is going crazy for this game. It's a game that so many people have wanted to see. You know, the amount of times on pro scrims people have said, oh, Epsilon versus Impact, that'd be such a good game. Now we get it at LAN. That's Couldn't right. Get much better. You can't do it online. We got it on LAN. Can't ask for a better situation. And it's a best of five. No best of threes. We're going to see a hard point. We're going to see a search and destroy. And we're going to see a capture the flag guaranteed. Yeah. Who is the better squad in each of those game modes currently? Epsilon? They'll tell you, they have a 100-point club. Oh, yeah. They keep their opponents under 100 points in hardpoint. Can thing. they do that, though, against Impact, who, in my mind, is the most dominant hardpoint team here in the United States? Well, you look at Impact's hardpoint from Cod Champs. They were only beaten twice by Envy, and that was in the final and then the grand final. So they had something like a 95% win ratio at Cod Champs on hardpoint. So this, the hard point game is something that I myself have been so looking forward to. I was saying yesterday, it'd be so good if Epsilon met Impact. It'd be such an amazing game. It'd be a fan favorite game. But the hard point game, that is the one to watch. The S&D, personally, I think is probably going to go towards Impact. The CTF should be the deciding factor. But it's just all about this hard point game. All right, well, we're going to be kicking things off in game number one on Slums. Slums hard point will be the first game type. I know this is kind of a universal map. Yeah. You've seen Epsilon on this game mode. What are your thoughts coming into this one? The last time I saw Epsilon play hardpoint slums, they kept their opposition to 23 points. So I'm just saying this, this should be good. This <laughs> should be good. Three points? Yeah. That is absolutely insane. Looking at that lineup, you got Xanity down on the far left. Mad Cat sitting there in chair number two. The captain, the play caller, that is Shane in seat three. And then the Irish juggernaut, <laughs> Jurd. He does what he wants. And he wants a win here. He's going to have his work cut out for him, though, because this Icon's impact team is so fierce. You see Parasite there on the far left, the captain, the best anchor in the game at the moment. Miracle's the most exciting player to watch, in my opinion. He celebrates. He gets this team <laughs> pumped up. He is the hype man, and he has one of the best SMGs in the game, and he's so sneaky when he's running around the map. Karma, the MLG Dallas MVP. He is the current number one player in the game, according to almost all the pros here on the pro circuit. And then out the far right, wearing the red hat there, 
you got Killa. Love her or hate his attitude. <laughs> Killa is a, a force to be reckoned with. He is the shot caller in CTF. He's the shot caller in Hardpoint. He tells his team how to set up, and he is going to be so tough to get out of those hills. He was the player that obviously went clutch at COD Championships in that final, the grand final in the SMD. Managed to stay alive in that one versus one situation against MV Proofy. So he's a very, very strong SMD player. And that's why I, I personally don't think Epsilon can take the search and destroy. I, I just, I can't see it happening. I think Impact's SMD is so, so strong. They're all just phenomenal search and destroy plays. They all can pick it up when they need to. I mean, it, it all comes down to, I keep saying it, but it all comes down to this Hardpoint game. Impact has not lost a match this season. They've only lost two games at MLG Dallas. Wow. Yeah, let wow. that soak in a little bit. That's a nice little stat. Epsilon, they've already lost games in the open bracket. Yeah, they did. They have their work cut out for them. It is going to be an epic battle, and we also have a little rivalry between the coaches. Maybe it's more of a friendship. <laughs> APOC, originally from England, has been over in the States. He's been helping yep. build the EVIL lineup. He was formerly with FEAR, and now he's coaching Impact for this matchup. Tell me about the, uh, the history between APOC and Scruff. You know, they're both really, really good friends, you know, in, in, throughout Europe competitions, whenever they've both been there, really, really good friendship that they've got. But what's interesting is they both spent a lot of time together coaching both these two teams and giving insight to both teams. So APOC, he's, he's been well known for actually giving strategies to Epsilon to try and help them improve their own game. Really? So now, you know, he's going up against them. So he's going to know exactly what to do, whether this was his plan all along and he was being trying, he's trying to be really sneaky saying, Epsilon, do this, you'll, you'll win everything. Now he knows how they play. He's going to impact you. Know, Epsilon, they're going to do this. We will take this easily. Who knows? Who knows? There you go. You got APOC on the left, Scruff on the right. Those will be your two coaches for this main event. This is just round number one of the championship bracket, guys. After this one, we have another main stage match, a short break. 7.30, we got an all-star game featuring yep. some of the top NBA as well as NFL players in the United States. Des Bryant is going to be here. Dwight Howard is going to be here. Ty Lawson and Juan Blair. <laughs> we got Corey Butler in the house later. And then at 8 o'clock, Optic versus NBA. Before we game. even get to the semifinals, this may be the greatest day in Call of Duty history. It, it could well be because we have got so many top games lined up. You know, Optic versus Envy. After Optic's performance yesterday, they look just so, so dominant. A lot of people have turned around and said, whoa, I didn't expect that. They look like they could go ahead and win it. But MB early run, very convincing performance, 3-0, made it look so simple. All right, well, Ben, I'm in the game. Just need to get you in here. And then we will be kicking it off. It's a best of five, remember? All matches here in the championship bracket are going to be best of fives. If you meet up a second time in the tournament, it'll extend to a best of 11. So even if you're going to lose a match, you've got to take some games. Yeah in the case that you'll meet up against your opponent once again. No one wants to go out 3-0. Impact the heavy favorites, but, uh, but according to the fan polls, everyone thinks that Epsilon can pull off the upset here. Whether that's just because people are getting tired of Impact winning, maybe, because they, they just win everything. Everywhere they go, they win. It's what they do. You can see them just having a bit of a group huddle, getting themselves psyched for this game. This is a very, very important game. I was speaking to Karma just before the game started. He was saying that whoever wins this first map is going to go ahead and take the series. And look at that Twitter poll. 28% for Impact, 72 for Epsilon. Fantastic game. And we are going to get things underway. All right, Anaheim, are you ready? Icon's Impact is facing off against Epsilon. And it's kicking off in 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, Security one. We're objectives. on board with Impact Karma. He is the most amazing Hardpoint player identified. on this map. If you ask Hastro, he will tell you straight up, Karma is the best player in the game. But on Slums, it is his Hardpoint best map. Tested. He's definitely going to be our player to watch from Impact. I expect him to put up at least 30 kills, but over on the We're Epsilon lineup, who do we need to look out for, Ben? He needs to be keeping our eyes out on Jerd, obviously, but also Madcap. As I said earlier on, he's been playing so well all throughout this tournament so far throughout the open bracket. He's just been playing phenomenally, and he's starting off on a two-kill streak. On that half point, halfway already towards some score streaks, trying to figure out exactly where Impact are going to be spawning. And early on, it looks like it's going to be Epsilon with wow. some great control. Epsilon, known for their hard point game. Hard they point have contested. some of the biggest names 
in the world in their 100-point club. Who are yep. some of the big foes that they've dominated? Well, we saw them absolutely destroy TEC, sadly. That was, I think they kept them to 30 points. They've done it to pretty much every single major European team. The, the list is, is getting a bit long at this point. At the start here, it looks like they're going to give up a few seconds to Impact as they prepare for the second hard point. Mad Cat is going to be taken down. It looks like all of Impact is going to be pushing, led by Karma. Karma about to find some action. Going to call that out to Miracles. Miracles jumping over. He's got his teammate Parasite there as well. Oh, and oh man, Karma's able to get back here, but Jerd took out two, took out three, oh. two of the three, excuse me, and Jerd just cleaned up all three members of Impact. Epsilon has total control of this back hill. Oh, Jerd with the MP7 as well, make that a four streak. He's just taken down every single Impact player. One more on the hard point. He's going to connect oh with that hill as well. That was Miracles. Jerd, King Jerd does what he wants, 47 to 18, has his Hellstorm, has his Lightning Strike, going for the War Machine, finally shut down, but Epsilon early on looking so, so dominant. As you see on the mini-map here, guys, Epsilon, they're going to try and push forward the new hard point, about to rotate in just a few seconds. Jert is finding some action over here on Brickside. Good grenade, doesn't get the kill, though. The Flag Jacket is going to save his opponent. Here's a great spawn, though, right up on Blue. He's going to get instantly into the hard point, unable to make the most of it. We're going to Shane now, the captain of Epsilon, and and Shane is going to get Hard denied by identified. Karma as well. So first it was Jerd going off. Now Karma is going to try and lock down this hard point for Icon's impact. And believe it or not, America, we're down 50 seconds. It is Epsilon with the lead. But as we look at the minimap here, it looks like Impact has the better spawns. At least they did they until did. Jerd's lightning strike just totally ruined things. Karma spawning all the way across the map. Yep, you've got only Miracles in a good position for Impact. He needs to stay alive, but he has just lost that gunfight. I believe that was actually to Xanity, but Madcap was the one that originally actually broke that anchor. So fantastic play from him. He went straight through that garage, picked off the fountain anchor, but here's Karma, who we're on board with now. He's just taken down Jerd. Sadly, can't get past Shane that time, though. Madcap currently on two kills. Can he try and make it three? Again, halfway towards some score streaks for Epsilon. Back on board with Epsilon now. Madcat in that perfect anchor position. Got to look out for that van as it was just catching fire. So it's about to blow up any second. Madcat, though, just going to rotate to the back fountain. They know Impact's in the garage. Yep. The new hard point is going to move there just now. And Madcat, he's just going to hold this down, give his team the spawns. I like the smoke grenade. Oh, and there was the push. Boy. Madcat totally outguessing Miracles there. Catches him from behind. He now has streaks going out for the oh my century God. gun acquired Ben. 117 to just 32. Impact after three and a half minutes is not even in the 50s. Just think about this. This is Hard the Call of Duty World Championship winners. This is the team that have just never been beating an event, and Epsilon are holding their own, and they are right now over 100 points in the lead against Impact. We're on board with Shane right now. Two kills to his name. Epsilon racking up those score And right now, Impact don't really have a, a response to this. You, we saw Miracles try and get that anchor, but Madcap, such intelligence to just rotate. He knew exactly what was happening. And now, Epsilon with the spawns are just looking so, so strong. We're going to see what Karma can do. He's working with Parasite here in the hard point. Parasite goes down. It's up to Karma. Karma gets one, but there's still Shane in the hill. 5.55 left on the clock, and here are your stats. Madcat already 15-9 wow. yeah, and nine with four defenses. Seven defense from Jerd with 12-11. and 11. On the other side, the only player positive is going to be Parasite at 14-13 and 13 for impact. This is going to take one of those moments where we know Parasite can do it. If there's any player that can do it, it is going to be him. He just needs to really step it up like you can do at any time and just go absolutely massive. Well, Ben, Epsilon, they are up 110 plus seconds over Icon's impact. Their communication is on point, and I want to go to a Turtle Beach team chat with this squad. How are they communicating? But it looks like their teamwork is 100% on point. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll go one as well, I'll go one as well. Yeah, yeah, everyone wait, everyone wait. Watch your point, watch your point, watch your point. Another blue, 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 be advised, your sentry gun has been destroyed.
Come on, mid, mid, one shot. Kill her, kill her. 25 next, 25. Get all these points, get all these got points. Big points. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 And Benson, we just saw Epsilon Jur, who is in that anchor position, taken down by Impact. But with three minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock, look at this scoreboard, ladies wow. and gentlemen. 227 to just 61 and counting. They had their opponents for under 50 seconds for six of those minutes. This is absolutely unreal play. Are we going to see Epsilon add? a Call of Duty Titan team to this 100 point club. At the minute it's looking like that journey. He's on the oh, phone, hard point, nearly got the turn on, not gonna happen. Miracles goes big. I mean, right now they could still come back into this game. However, with another 11 seconds on this hard point, Shane is just, needs to stay alive. He doesn't really necessarily need to actually challenge that much. They need to make sure they have to set up on the next hard point. They can't win it on this one. Shane staying alive, milking it. Oh, Epsilon now identified. just seven seconds away, trying to add impact to the 100 point club. Make and there we club. go. Oh. Give it up for Epsilon. The Titan Killers. Fantastic. Well, no survivors. You can see them getting pumped up. Oh my goodness. Epsilon dominating impact in their very first game of the tournament. Impact is handed a loss, and that has never been done to them before. 32 and 16 from Mad Cat, 23 and 16 from Jerd with 10 defense on the other side. I believe it was Parasite with 24 kills for Impact. There was some slang, but Epsilon totally dominating game one. Doesn't look like the uh, Impact boys are too happy about that. Bit of lack of communication, maybe. But looking at that scoreboard, you've got Mad Cat 32 and 18. Like you said, 10 defense for Jid. Fantastic plays from Epsilon all around. Oh my goodness, Benson. I told you. 100 point club. I told you. It seems our Twitter <laughs> fans are the smartest people <laughs> on the planet. They predicted it. And Epsilon takes game number one in our best of five. We're going to go to a three minute commercial break on the other side of it. Game number two. It's search and destroy. Let's see if Impact can start to climb back into this one.